Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents, toy collectors, uh, Woolworth shoppers, bricks fans, whatever you want to call yourself, <laughs> it's your good pal Oz. And uh, today we're going to be doing our third video about the Woolworths Bricks Farm. We have, uh, with this series, every time you spend over $30, you get um, a mystery bag, I guess you'd call it. And each one would come with something like a cow or a bird or, a, uh, when I say a bird, <laughs> that kind of bird. Or trees or something to help you build up your homestead so that you have your own farm. Um, and it's a Woolworths promotion that started earlier in this month, which is February, so early February, and hopefully it's going to go for at least another month until like mid-March. I haven't actually checked, but I think it's going to mid-March. Uh, they usually go for a month and a half. Anyway, this is our third video. As you can see, we already have a little bit of a homestead up and running. Um, I built the homestead in our first video. These items here are what we've got in our mystery bags as we've been opening them. And also in our last video, number two, we opened up the tractor and we built this and reviewed that and then we opened up more mystery bags and that's pretty much the formula we're going to follow today so I'm going to open oh actually there is a little surprise so I'm going to open up about uh, 10 or 15 mystery bags we'll also include some um, New Zealand ones like when I was in New Zealand back when they were doing their promotion I happened to grab a big bunch maybe about 20 or 30 of the New Zealand ones so we'll open about five of those today. We'll just kind of pepper some of them through our um, remaining videos we'll do. So every time I do a video on the bricks, the Woolworths bricks, I'll also open up a few countdown bricks just so we can do a comparison, just to make liven things up and make it a little bit more fun. Um, but also in this video, just like I've been doing in the past, we'll also build a set. And this one should be easy. There might not even be any building required because we'll review the um, animal set. And um, I just picked this up from Woolworths today. I think it was $8. Um, and it still, still still seems to be quite a bit in stock. So what's today? Today's about the second uh, week since the review, since the promotion has started. And yeah, as far as I could see, I didn't see any homesteads, any of these fellows, but um, they did have a lot of the other sets. But every, every store might be different. Anyway, that's enough talking from me. Let's get straight into it. We'll start by opening up some of the normal mystery bags. Or should we start with the set? Now we'll do some mystery bags, check in the set halfway through, and then we'll do the New Zealand ones. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just play, we'll just be loose today. Just kind of go, go with what we feel like. Okay, so first one we have is, okay, you guys can't see that. It is a double up, I think. No, it's not. It's like a apple tree, <laughs> apple bush. That doesn't make sense. So we've already got like a, a little bush there. Hold on, where's the instructions that will tell us what it is? Um, oh, tomato plant. Okay, that's a small tomato plant. Oh no, it sticks underneath. It's still weird. Doesn't look like any tomato plant I've got. But um, stick those underneath. That is a new one. As we're building it too, we're roughly trying to stick to the plan that Woolworths has given us, which is this one. So the tomato plant, let's have a quick search. I'm assuming it'll be with the smaller plants. No, it's not. Oh, there we go. It's next to the strawberry bush. Okay, tomato plant. Bang, there we go. Next to the strawberry bush. Okay, so we're slowly coming together. There's no stickers. And um, in case you're wondering um, if I'm gonna like open everyone really slowly, I, I will not. It's just ones we haven't seen before. I'll um, open it up like and, and not skip anything. Okay, next up. So this is again a Woolworths one. And we have some sort of green leaves. Oh no, it's not leaves, it's a man. This is our um, first man from the um, from the mystery bags. We got a lady from the set with the tractor. Say hello, there she is there. Um, but this is our first fellow. So let's put his hat on. Actually, I might do the stickers before I do arms and everything. Just less obstacles in our way. Sorry, fellow, we'll give you a, your arms once your shirt's on and there we go and you might learn that i am really rough with the stickers i'm not the most precise careful person um but they look good see look look at that it's a little bit wonky it just adds character there we go looking good we'll chuck his hat on there you go like a cool guy <laughs> no we'll put it that way okay so we got the uh so his name is fruit and veg buyer so there we go. So we'll put them over there next to the produce ready to send. And get rid of the stickers. Now we're going to do a countdown one. 
So, um, I don't know if you've noticed this. I only noticed when watching one of my videos back, but these um, bags are very different. So, again, like that's uh, nice smooth grass, that's Lego grass. The the crates are different. Like the the the, the um the the logos are roughly the same. Um, different shirts, different colored animals. So I wonder if we can get a black and white dog if I open up this countdown one. But then if I open up the same one and get the same dog, if he's going to be brown for the Woolworths one. Um, different plants. This one has corn. That one's got an orange tree. What's that in the corner there? Looks like a letterbox or something. Um, but anyway, slightly different. Uh, we don't want to go into too much detail. But yeah, anyway, it'll be it'll be fun to see what they what the differences are. So, whoa, okay, very cool. We got some sheep. Now, how cool would it be if the Australian one doesn't even come with sheep? Because I know New Zealand loves their sheep. Now, let's just quickly. This is a quick way to find out. Is there is a checklist which I haven't been keeping up with? Oh wow, okay. Oh sorry you guys can't see. Oh wow. Okay, I don't see sheep on this. So already our very first one we got something unique. Um so that is cool. So we can just kind of decide where to put these sheep ourselves. Okay, for now, since there's an empty spot, and and as far as I know, sheep don't eat chickens. Oh, I didn't show you the sheep by the way. This is all fellas. So there's two of them, they are identical from what I've seen so far. Very cool. Okay, so that is something very cool, very unique. So that instantly answers our question. Whereas if uh, they have the same items from both ones. So yeah, clearly Countdown have things that Woolworths don't have and vice versa. Like maybe you can't get cows or kookaburras. You definitely wouldn't be able to get a kookaburra with a New Zealand one. Um, so that's interesting because kookaburras are a native Australian animal. So let's do another one. Okay, now we got some other tree. Maybe this is gonna be another weird New Zealand thing. Okay, pear trees. I'm pretty sure pear trees aren't only New Zealand. Um, I know I do know they're a slightly cold climate fruit, but we should still have those in Australia. I will double check though. We'll check the checklist. I'm just gonna hang them from there. And there we Ah! Too rough! Okay, hold on. And don't, there we go. Okay, so now where's the checklist going? I keep throwing it places. Okay, now do we see a pear tree? Oh man, I don't think we see a pear tree. There's banana trees, there's avocado trees, there's lots of corn. I don't see pear trees, so we've, we've broken it again. We've got another unique thing. Okay, I'm gonna put the pear tree for now next to the avocado tree. But our farm's gonna get pretty crowded having all these like extra things around. Okay, so let's keep going with the with the countdown ones because these are kind of um, fun, fun having like new things that you can't get over here in Australia. Okay, now next up, over there. So we're, we're doing we're doing five in this one. So we've opened two. We've got three left to go. Oh, that's weird. Okay, am I meant to be ripping there? No. Okay. It was just a, like a perforated line that it let me rip along. Okay, now I see something like a straw. Okay, good. We got something slightly familiar. Oh no, it is different. It's an apple tree, I think. Hold on, just double check. Okay, no, this, I think, is normal. I think. It looks redder than the one we've already got. So, hold on, wait, I just throw the little bag. Uh, nope, stickers. Okay, uh oh. I lost a little bag. It's not the tomato plant. Forgive me, I kind of threw the bag aside thinking it was empty. And my desk is covered in bags. Oh well, <laughs> we'll find out what the name is. Oh no, there it is. Okay, apple tree. It is an apple tree. I kind of lost the instructions there, but uh, apple tree. So I don't, I'm, I, I, is, that, is this an apple tree? Hold on, let's, let's double check. We'll put it together. It's just that. You'll see in a second why I'm kind of having a little mini freak out over this. It's because the colors, uh oh, the colors are very different on the, uh, of the apples. The Australian ones are kind of pinkish, whereas the uh, New Zealand ones are like bright, vibrant red. Okay, there it is. One of the apples um, 
rolled off on the floor, but here we have it. Okay, so let's compare them. So this is the Australian Woolworths apple tree. This is the, the New Zealand apple tree. I don't know which one looks better, but actually no, I kind of like the, the, the bright pink, the bright red apples there. Um, but they're still, still cool and I'm going to put them right next to each other. So we've got two apple trees, but, but different kind of variety of apples, I'd say. Okay, next up. And, and let me know in the comments if that's not meant to be an apple tree, because I've kind of forgotten if it, it, I'm assuming it's an apple tree. I can't think of what else it could be. But uh, let me know in the comments if I am wrong. Okay, now this is a very cool one. We've got some baby calves. So we got the big cow before, and that came in the Woolworths mystery bag. But now we've got two little baby calves. Calves? Calves. They have an L in their name, but I think that's a silent L. So very cool. So we got big mama cow, two little baby cows. And just like all the rest, I'm gonna have to double check to see if we're meant to be getting baby cows. No, there are another, another new thing. There's no baby cows on here. So <laughs> again, we've, we've kind of like got extra animals, well, extra things that didn't belong. So I'm gonna need a bigger farm, I think. We have um, the farm shed. Just, just kind of doing some future planning here. In my next video, I'm gonna build the farm shed and see that's got lots of landscape for um, calves and, and apple trees and other random animals like that. Okay, is that gonna fall down? We're good, okay. Now, last one of the countdown bricks for today's video. And we have, uh, oh, it's something, I don't know what this is. Requires a sticker, it's black, maybe it's potatoes? No, it's kiwi fruit. oh wow. Okay, so let me just quickly assemble it for you. I'll try to be fast, but I'm very sure, just by the fact that it's kiwi fruit, that we got another thing unique to New Zealand. That just means, out of the five packets we opened up, five out of five of them were unique that we couldn't get in um, Woolworths in Australia. So that's um, crazy. Oh, my set just exploded, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. You guys can't even see. So uh, that's fine. Now all the um, boxes of bricks I had leaning in the background just kind of got eaten up by the ground, but that's fine. Now, um, last one. And again, if I get double ups of anything like this, I, I, I won't put you through having to watch me do the stickers twice um actually i'm gonna put should i lay put them in loose actually i'm gonna put them in loose but this is what the kiwi fruit look like it's just a little ball just the same as the apples and everything else in this series but it's kiwi fruit colored very cool i should probably put them in properly but it just looks a little bit fiddly to make them sit on those little nubs oh and i just lost one. Oh, there we go we might be able to get one down but yeah, that, that, that's what they're meant to look like, like that, that fellow in the middle there. Anyway, okay, so we now have kiwi fruit. I don't know if I even need to check. Um, there's that. Is that meant to be kiwi fruit? I, I'm assuming potatoes. Oh yeah, you can probably see on the side there it says potatoes. So in New Zealand, the kiwi fruit. In Australia, the potatoes. It seems to be the, the, jo the jibe. Oh, is that the word jibe? I don't know. That seems to be why how they're doing it. Okay, now that's all our countdown ones done. Now let's quickly, because this should be fast, we'll open up the animal set. So, not much to it. It looks like it does come with some calves. Big mama cow again, a cat. I'm thinking it's a big cat. No, there's a cat there. Maybe it's a some sort of dog. Uh, yeah, okay, and some eggs for our chicken coop. Now I don't know if this is totally necessary, like if you get unique items from this because, oh, I'm doing that wrong. There we go. Just because I've got a lot of animals so far already. Well, as we've worked out, you can't get the calves from um, the normal collection, the normal mystery figures. So that's um, at least one thing. Hold down our supermarket fell over. Just gonna put this where you can see it. There we go, since we're reviewing it. Okay, now let's see who we got. This bag is very, very, very strong. I regret not having scissors, but there we go. Okay, we did it. Okay, other way, kiwi fruit. Okay, so we have a big pig. And I'm calling it a big pig because over here is a little pig. And it's sitting down. Very cool. Mummy pig and baby pig, we'll say. And then we got a chicken. 
I'm assuming, oh, this looks like a rooster. More of a rooster, we got two. Do they look the same? No, one's kind of taller than the other, I think. Is that my imagination? No, they've definitely got different patterns too. Am I imagining that? Are you two the same? I can't tell. I've called one a rooster and now I think they're different, but no, I think they're the same. Yeah, yeah, no, they're the same, I believe. Yeah, okay, two chickens. This, this confirms it, two chickens. So we got chickens, I'll put them there later on. I'll put them on top of the chicken coop. Uh, we have some brown eggs. We have some white eggs, very cool. Um, mama cow, which I think is identical to the one we already have. Yep, identical. Uh, we've got baby cow, but this one's not like the New Zealand ones because it has no pattern. The baby cows in New Zealand have this, uh, these markings on the side, but the Australian one has uh, the same model, you can tell, but just doesn't have the patterns on the side. And what else? We've got the cat. Very cool. This is probably my favorite out of the whole set. She's got a lot of... Oh, I dropped it, of course. Oh, 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 there we go. It's got a lot of detail on it, like patterns on her front and back. There we go. I'm gonna put it there. And last one, we have a dog. I'm assuming it's some sort of like cattle dog. I really don't know. Um, I, I don't know much about dogs, I apologize. If you know what kind of dog this is, if, if this is a, like a real type of dog, uh, let me know in the comments below what kind of dog that is. That will be really useful for me. Just for future videos so I can like know what it is when I'm like referring to it. Um, okay, but anyway, that's everything we have in the set there. Looking good. I wish I could get the camera closer, but I kind of can't. Um, but very cool. And I want oh, actually, I'll place the chickens there because they're an easy one. All the other animals, I'll have to kind of place them as we go. I'll probably put most of them in that kind of um, stable thing as we after we build it in the next video. But for now, I'll just place them all over the place. There we go. So eggs around the chicken coop. Two chickens up there. Um, we got a random sheep. This seems weird having sheep wandering around. Um, I got our cat. He will look amazing anywhere, but for now I'll put him there. Um, and yeah, the other animals will, will find homes for them later. Okay, now, so that's good. Now we've got more mystery bags. Let me just do some quick cleaning up, just so I don't miss any. Okay, we're good. So, let's get straight into it. So now we just got mystery bags to open up. Okay, now we got, this seems just to be random fruit. Okay, there's another box to, to display, put the stickers on. There's a lot of variation in these um, crates too. As far as I know, I've seen two green ones with green writing on them, green stickers. We've seen a black one now with the kiwi fruit. And this is a kind of like a brown and orange one. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I'm getting better. I keep talking about how bad I am at stickers, but maybe so often, even though I'm really rushing it, I'm kind of doing an alright job. Okay, so we got bananas. I'll stick them in there. We have, looks like a broccoli. I'm gonna, okay, I'm not gonna stick them in perfectly. And some sort of eggplant, it's looking like. Hold on, I'll bang it all in place and so you guys can see it. Actually, no, that's hard to see what this is. I think it's an eggplant. So we got banana, I'm pretty sure that's a broccoli because it's green and what looks like an eggplant. Just that leaf is making me think it's an eggplant. Okay, very cool. So we're gonna put those with all the other crates. We'll tidy it up later. Um, oh, you didn't see that, it's right at the back there. It doesn't quite fit, but I'll fix that later. Um, okay, now let's keep going. And uh, I didn't mention yet, but in my last video, I kind of explained that there is a competition. You don't have to do much to get into it. You don't have to like or subscribe to this video. I'll, I'll leave that totally up to you. But um, you do need to leave a comment just so I have a way of communicating with you and saying, hooray, you won, if you win. So leave a co all you have to do to be into the competition um, is, and what, what the competition's for is the homestead, the startup pack, and also the startup pack for the um, supermarket. Uh, I've currently, the other kind of two items that just fell down the back, so I can't show you them. But it's the two startup packs from the two previous series. 
uh, well, one previous series and this series. And all you have to do to be in to win is just leave a comment. Could be anything. You could be telling me that your cat is brown or that you have two shoes on today. Um, anything. As long as there's a comment, I have a way of tracking you down, a way of responding to you and letting you know if you win. And basically what I've done in the past, pretty much for the last few years, the way I choose a winner is I get all the names, I fill them into an Excel spreadsheet, I make it do a random search just to choose a number. Each number will have the name next to it and that way I don't have any involvement with choosing the winner. And then um, once I find out the winner, I'll respond to your comment and just letting you know. And the last one, when I did um, the last series of bricks, it took three people before um, the third person actually saw my response telling them that they won so that they could actually reply and get back to me. So this time, like when the competition ends, which is pretty much the time the promotion ends, um, make sure you're checking your responses and comments because um, I may be messaging you to say, hey, you won, let me know your email address. Um, because yeah, sometimes it can be hard getting in touch with people. Um, okay, now, anyway, let's keep enough rambling. Oh, I didn't even show you this. We just kind of like went straight through it because I was talking too much. But this is the berry crate. Looks like raspberries and blueberries. Again, you can put them in the right way, but I am being too fast to do that. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're kind of meant to sit on the little knobs or the little, little pegs. Um, but yeah, we got blue. It looks like we only got two blueberries. Oh, and uh, three raspberries. But oh well. Okay, anyway, we'll put them over there. Now, onto the next one. So this looks like a banana tree, which is another new one. Okay. Here we go. Put that there. I'm getting faster doing these now. Banana there. Banana there. And here we go. So there's our banana plant. Looking cool. And from what I saw, I haven't really been consulting this. It's kind of where our um, pear tree is. So for now, I'll bang it next to it. And like I said before, I'll, I'll fix all this later. But I'll just give you a sneak preview. It's looking pretty good. It's looking like we have a little bit of an orchard going there. Okay, now, lucky last, what have we got? It's a, another avocado tree. Okay, hold on. We've already got one of those in, I think, video number two. So we won't do another one of those. I'll just open up another. Okay, here we go. I have a few spares around just in case that happens. Okay, now this is new. We got solar panels. So... There we are, we'll stick them on. There doesn't seem to be a top or a bottom to this. Maybe there is, but from what I can see, this is the way to put it. And then do this one, like so. And there we have it. Very good, so solar panels, and where would we put these? Oh, they stick them on the roof. We have home renovations. Okay, hold on, I'm getting messy again. Get those out of the way. Now, I need to adjust you. There you are. Okay. Oh, sorry. I heard someone. Okay, now we put that one there. Cool. And then this one, we'll try to make them sync, be symmetrical. There we have it. Our, uh, our homesteads just had an upgrade. We now got cool solar panels. Okay, very good. So, that's it for the video for today. So that's video number three. If you want to see the previous two, um, they'll all be in the same kind of playlist, but I'll put links to them down below just so you can watch them in order and kind of see anything you've missed. Um, thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you liked it, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. Subscribe if you have not yet already subscribed. Uh, leave a comment just so I can say hi, have a chat to you. Um, I'll, I'll try to respond as much as I can, um, but also that will get you into the competition to win the homestead and the, the, the supermarket startup pack. Um, but very good. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Have a great week. Take care of yourself and I will see you later.